Okay, this is Cool Dude Clem here, and it appears that I'm going to have to repair this tape recorder because I was just using it a minute ago, and I heard something go pop inside it, so I think another capacitor has gone. So, here we are with the reel to reel in pieces, and this would be the second time I've had to repair this in about a month because. It keeps blowing capacitors. Now, if we look here, you can see a capacitor that I replaced, and that's blown. Now, I can forgive the original capacitor for blowing, because, after all, this is rather old, and old capacitors, some of them do tend to do that, but... The capacitor I replaced has also blown. And I'm a little bit perplexed as to why that did that, because the original capacitor was a 33 microfarad, rated at 16 volts. This one, which is the replacement capacitor, was a 47 microfarad, also rated at 16 volts. Now, although I didn't use the same value of capacitor, I know that's perfectly safe, because this is just simply part of the power supply, so it shouldn't matter too much about whether I go up in capacitance or not, but as you can see, this one has also popped its top. But it is a cheap capacitor, so I don't think it could handle anything near what it states it can. So I'm going to replace that capacitor with this capacitor, which, as you can see, is rated for 63 volts, and if that one blows, I don't know what I'll do. Okay, so I have now replaced that capacitor, and also I have bridged a small capacitor, a non-electrolytic capacitor, across this capacitor, just in case there is any high-frequency components. This little capacitor is going to take all that away from this one, so this one shouldn't fail prematurely. And just before anybody says, yes, when I did that original capacitor replacement, I did check that I had the capacitor around the right way, and I wasn't exceeding its rated voltage. Anyway, I'm going to turn this on, and I've got my meter connected across that capacitor, so I can make sure that it's connected the right way around, so if we get a positive reading on the meter, I know I haven't got the capacitor in reverse, so, turn this on, and let's see what voltage comes across the capacitor, hopefully without touching any live mains parts. And we have, we have about 13 volts across that capacitor, which is pretty much what I expect. Now, let's make sure there's no AC on that capacitor. It seems to be jumping around on the range a bit, so let's just... Make sure we don't have any AC voltage, and that looks pretty good. So, hopefully that capacitor won't explode us the right way round. We're not exceeding the rated voltage, so we'll see how things go. Hey kids, try new post LED cereal. What? Well, with indium gallium It's nitride. working. Mmm, let me try that new cereal. There are no exploded capacitors yet. working again. Playing through my stereo system that I'm building with my valve amplifier. So, all in all, a successful repair. And come on, I'm sure I'm not the only person who's put 8-bit music on a reel-to-reel. -reel. 